either as your core curriculum or as a resource to supplement your current instruction. Now, CK12 is a robust platform. Our goal in this session is to give you an introduction to the CK12 Foundation and ck12.org and to show you the power of our Flexbook 2.0 platform, plus all of the interactivity and related content that brings learning to life. I'll show you a variety of ways to access, share, and assign content to students, as well as how you can monitor their progress. We'll discuss strategies for implementation, whether you're doing in-person, fully remote instruction, if you're a parent looking to homeschool your students, talk about all of that. Um, lastly, we'll make sure that you leave knowing where to find additional help and support should you need it when exploring CK-12. Now, before we get started today, let's make sure everyone is comfortable with the two different Zoom windows. You should see a couple options. One is for Q&A and one is for chat. So during today's presentation, whenever you have a question for the CK-12 team to answer, please post it in the Q&A window. That's the window that we'll be monitoring throughout the presentation. The chat window, on the other hand, is a place for community conversation. We'd love for you all to introduce yourselves. If you're an educator, feel free to share where you live and the subject you teach. And just make sure in the chat window that you are sending any general posts to all panelists and attendees and not just to CK12 or the panelists. Any of you guys that are saying hello to us and are not switching it to all panelists and attendees, the rest of the crew is missing out on your great messages. So go and that's ahead. my favorite part, Katie, is I love seeing where everybody's from and so many people just sent it to all panelists. So if you, if you didn't change that to say all panelists and attendees, please go ahead and resubmit your message. It's fun. We have hundreds of people on today from all over the world, um, Nigeria, Philippines. Yeah, the West Coast, our hearts are with you, you, you folks in Oregon and California. Um, Colombia, now they're all flying in, um, all, these, all these places. That's great. Thank you for sharing um, where you're from. Feel free to talk about uh, what you teach. The community window is, is your place. Like Katie said, just put questions in the Q&A window. Um, this is scheduled to be kind of a 30 to 40 minute webinar, depending on how many questions we have. We will break a few times to answer questions live. Um, we're also typing answers to your questions. And then we'll stay on at the end of the webinar to address any unanswered questions. Um, I also want to let you know that we're recording this webinar and it will be available on our webinars page in the archive section in the next 24 hours. If you need to revisit anything you learned today or share the presentation with a friend or a colleague. Now for many of you, this webinar may be your first introduction to CK12, but we've been the premier flexible learning solution since 2007 serving over 100 million users from around the world. We firmly believe that every student has a unique personalized learning journey, and we offer multiple pathways for students to learn in their own way. We're a nonprofit organization, and all of our resources, absolutely everything on CK12 is free. You won't see any advertising on our site. You're not gonna hit a paywall. We are proud to provide free access for all teachers and learners, giving you the tools and resources that you need to seamlessly transform between in-person and remote learning. And that's really the benefit of using CK12. Um, we're gonna be your partner for whatever your plans are um, for this most unconventional year, whatever your school or district is throwing at you, um, we're here for you. I really liked this quote that was sent to us by one of our certified educators in Kansas. Um, I think she sent this back in March, right when, right when uh, plans were switching due to COVID. She said, because I've been using CK-12 these last few years, my students are having no problems transitioning to the online learning. The easy integration with Google Classroom makes it possible for me to assign anything easily. The videos and clicks options that show up along the sides of my posted readings have my students investigating further than I even ask of them. I am so thankful for this research. So in this year where everybody's having to be flexible and reimagining what learning looks like for students, um, just know that, that we're here to help you through all the different phases. So what specifically are we offering you? Um, quite simply, we're the highest quality content that's accessible across every platform and device. CK12 is gonna work on your Chromebooks, your smartphones, your tablets, your desktop computers. 
And then our customized Flexbooks can even be downloaded as PDFs for anybody who needs a static copy or offline access. Um, we still think the best experience is online and digital, but for those of you who occasionally need those PDFs, um, you are able to get those on our site as well. Now, when you arrive at ck12.org, you may notice that the bulk of our resources fall within the branches of math and science. So we offer comprehensive coverage for middle and high school math and science with our newest interactive flexbooks attached to practice that's adaptive and related content such as videos, interactives, and real world applications. We do have some math adaptive practice and videos at the elementary level and offer elementary science readers. We are also have some college flexbooks and content that goes beyond the STEM subject areas. I encourage you to check out our flexlets that were developed this summer to help fill in student learning gaps and get them prepared for this year by studying the key concepts in a variety of math and science subjects. Those might be great kind of as you're doing quick refreshers and getting stuff started um, just to help fill in some gaps. Now, all of the resources on CK12 can be used as is, or you're welcome to customize content to meet the needs of your standards and your community. We actually have an entire section of our site that is dedicated to sharing the content our users customize and create. So like Katie just said, while CK12 only offers a few flex books in the area of language arts, for instance, we do have schools and districts who've created books on our site that are ready to be used by you. So don't be afraid to use the search bar for any subject or topic and click over to the community contributed tab to see what we offer. The schools page is another great place to see content created in a region near you. So this is the magic to CK12. Um, you can use the power of the CK12 platform to customize, create, and curate your own content. Um, I like to use this example from the Merced County of Education in, um, in California, because when schools started to shut down in March due to coronavirus, they needed a way to organize and deliver content to the 22 districts um, that, that Merced County Office of Education serves. And they needed to do it quickly. And what's awesome is that within just a matter of weeks, they built their own flexbooks on CK12 using their teacher created materials, as well as other open educational resources. They then embedded videos from their own YouTube channel and even attached a customized quiz to each of their lessons. Then the 22 districts had access to quality, quality content that they could use for online or in-person instruction with their students. Um, so this isn't for everyone. Some, some of you are gonna find, just be able to find a book and start using our things as is, find our resources. But if any of you are thinking about the best way to customize and build and curate content and get it out to all of your students, we can also be a solution for that. So as you're finding resources that you like on CK12, you are more than welcome to add them to your library or copy and paste the unique URL and share that resource with others. Now, if you're wanting to assign the work to students and actually get feedback from our system on how they did, you're welcome to create a CK12 class, or you can use an integrated learning management system. That's right, CK12 works seamlessly with the classes that you already have in Google Classroom, Canvas, and Schoology, making it easy for you to assign work and view insights and reports without needing to create duplicate classes on CK12. We'll put some quick reference links for those learning management systems in chat, and we encourage you to join us for our webinar offerings or check out the recordings. Um, we did those recently, and so you'll see them on our webinars page. And they go in-depth into those specific integrations. You're more than welcome to use Clever and ClassLink to log in, um, as we do have single sign-on options for that. And you'll even find some added content in Edmodo and Kidum. But that Canvas School and Google Classroom really has the full suite of resources available directly in or to those platforms. Okay, so now that you understand a little bit more about CK12, who, who we are, what we offer, you know that we are entirely free all the time, no catch. Um, I'm going to take you to our site. So let me share my screen. And you should now be seeing the CK12 homepage um, for anybody who's signed up as a teacher. 
Um, so let me talk to you about a few things kind of on our homepage, and then I'm going to jump into one of our Flexbooks and show you the magic of this 2.0 Flexbook that we're talking about. Um, so a couple of things. You'll notice that I'm signed into a demo account. Um, here in the upper right hand corner. If you have not signed up for a CK12 account, uh, now's a great time to do that. Again, no charge, no catch. We just like you to create an account so we can um, save a lot of the resources that you like. We can make recommendations. We can really do the intelligent things that our platform is capable of. Um, so do make sure that you are signed up or signed in when using CK12. And you can uh, check the box that you are a teacher. You'll notice that we have a student version of our site and it's, it's slightly different as far as the layout, but really most of the content is the same because we have students all around the world using us for self-study as well as educators who are using us in the classroom. So here on the student version, we kind of put front and center this idea of the search bar, you know, they're able to easily enter in a class code and kind of browse our subjects that way. Um, I'm going to be on the teacher version today because I imagine most people on this webinar are teachers, parents, um, educators who have identified themselves as teachers. Um, I like to use this explore option. Okay, there's lots of different ways to access content on our site, of course, like any website, but this explore menu option up at the top. It gives you quick access to a lot of the things that I'm going to show you today. Um, we're going to be talking about our flex books. I'm gonna be showing you adaptive practice. I'm gonna show you what a simulation looks like. I'm gonna show you what our plicks are. Um, we already talked a little bit about the schools page. Um, I know that there were some questions in the Q&A window about uh, Common Core Math or how we align with NGSS. So you can click on these pages to find out more about that. And then kind of later on, Katie and I will be talking to you about our certified educator program or again, webinars where you can register for, for upcoming webinars or view archived resources. So I like the explore menu to, to jump in um, to some of these options once I know what I'm looking for. Um, another great way to approach this is to type into the search bar uh, a bite-sized concept that you're gonna be teaching. Okay, so think about something that you have coming up that you need, you need stuff for, whether that's just, a video or you need a lesson or you need our CK12 full suite of resources, um, you can type in anything that you like into the search bar. Um, I'm going to type in uh, water cycle. And I'm going to say that I want it in all of CK12. And this is probably a super big term that's going to pull up a ton of search results here. Okay. Uh, but things you need to know about using the search bar is that we've got these filters over here on the left hand side. Um, I don't think the best way to filter our content is by grade, because since we are based on concepts, you know, different, different areas around the world teach, teach things at different grade levels. Um, what I like to do is I like to search keywords and then come down here to the categories and a read is what we call that like a lesson. Right. And then we've got Flexbooks 2.0. We've got nine of them that have the water cycle in them. We have clicks, we have videos, we have real world applications. So you can click on any of these different categories and hopefully find what you're looking for. Um, similarly, anytime in search that you see this word concept um, next to the, the, the phrase that you typed in, this takes you to a concept page and we showcase um, a lot of what we have to offer for the water cycle. So you'll see that we've got several reads here We've got a uh, video, we've got two more videos, um, we've got activities, study guides, we've got a lesson plan that only teachers can see um, since you're signed in as a teacher, um, practice and real world applications. Okay, so we are built on the idea that there's lots of different ways to learn about a concept. And I think by searching and um, finding a concept page, you would be able to get to some of your information. 